Hello everyone, we're back finally for some GT3 fixed series in VR. I'm going to be showing uh, the quality laps this time around, just to change things up a little bit. So maybe you guys could even use this um, as like a track guide, even though my lines are probably not the best, but sometimes it can help just watching somebody else run some laps. It's been a while. Didn't have time to really record any races before because it was a bunch of tracks I didn't know personally at the end of the last season. And I didn't have time to practice the track, get a race in, and record it before the weekend really, before we did the endurance race. But this year is looking like I know a lot of these tracks, so it's good. Imola next week, really excited for that one. Super excited for Sebring. Um, the endurance race this weekend's gonna be great. I'm really hoping to redeem myself since the last time we had a race here, I ended up uh, crashing out, unfortunately, so. Uh, it's a track I do decent at. I'm not too sure how I do nowadays. I was running about two minute lap times in practice, so hopefully that holds up. I think 159 is probably the aim. Graphics are super low, I don't know why. And also, if you guys are here just for the race, I'll have the race timestamped, so you can skip right to it. So we're going to be starting the first hot lap here. Probably try and stay wide here to get as much uh, exit speed as possible. I did not do this properly. <laughs> If anything, I'm slower. Also, no HUD, because I'm trying to immerse myself fully, but the poor graphics is kind of ruining a little bit. I mean, I guess just pretend that you have bad eye vision. We're a race car driver with bad eyes. A little slow coming into that corner. tricky exit on that one. I find uh car wants to oversteer pretty frequently. Oh, I thought I got an off track there. I was just going to be disconnecting. So yeah, I'm curious as to where we're going to qualify. Maybe we won't really know until afterwards. That was not a good corner. Lots of places I can improve already. Yeah, more exit speed, carry it. It's been a while since I raced in VR too, so... Might be a factor in... Why I'm very slow now. Yeah. Hopefully we can get it back into shape in time for the race. Okay, so not too sure what we're aiming for here. I mean I just based on my mistakes, that's probably a 202 or 203. Feels so weird having the full exit there. Okay, so not too bad. 201, I think. Yeah, 20168. Can definitely improve on that if we don't make any mistakes. Two tenths in the first sector. We're really slow coming out of that. Back to on par for our first lap. I know I can improve. Need to shave a second off. Oh, I'm 
I'm slowing down so much for that corner. Ah, uh, that's not good. Holy cow, I'm driving really bad right now. So yeah, that's not looking like an improvement yet. Thought I was gonna go into grass there. <laughs> Yeah, not looking like we're going to improve on this lap. I mean, I guess, uh, I don't like how bad the graphics are. I guess we'll have to work our way up on the track here. Not too sure where my accelerating point is now. Actually, it looks like we will improve a little bit. Alrighty, so I'm going to drive this back in and uh, show you guys the results, and then uh, we will be starting the race. <laughs> Very slow. 21593. I mean, I guess we'll have to work our way from the back here. But that's about what I was running to. 7s, 208s in practice, so I know I have the pace. Sometimes starting it back in these races is better, too. Welcome to Sebring, Season 2, 2023. Qualified pretty close to last year, so we got a lot of places to make up. Uh, if you skipped it from qualifying, yeah, you see, I was pretty slow. I think I, I have the pace, I just made a lot of mistakes. Now it's just about avoiding the carnage and making up as many places as we can. I don't know why I pressed the D-pad there. I wasn't sure if the spotter wasn't on or not. I had a feeling there's a guy on my left. I was too scared to check though. And you left the door open. I'm gonna take it. Thought I was gonna get taken out there. So you got no HUDs. So I have no idea how close this guy is behind me. Feels like he's right there, but he might actually be a few seconds behind. Or not a second, but you know what I mean. Always too early on the gas here. No idea if we're within draft range or not. I think we are. Well, the guy behind spun. Bumps can get you. <clears throat> Got a little bit of breathing room here. Yeah, VR takes a lot of practice. Like, I drove this track a bit week 13 on just the screen and just coming at VR, it's like completely different, I just feel so much slower.
I like that green though, it's like Aston Martin green in front of us. I hate that the graphics are so poor though. Should have taken more time to work on the settings. So got a sizable gap behind. Keeping up with the guys here. We got what, 10 lap race. This can be the start of our third. That's seven laps to make stuff happen. I see VR helped my perspective there a lot. Just for avoiding that guy. Gotta make up some ground here. Where the guys behind catch up. So is that three passes because people spun or are off track and one legitimate because he just left the door open at the beginning of the race. Need to catch up to the pack in front though, before the pack behind me catches up. Looks like there's three cars. Kind of a no man's land, so we're just hot lapping. Although it looks like I am slow. I think the guys behind are catching me, and I'm losing the guys in front. Got to be careful. Hooking the car on those curbs can be deadly. Yeah, I don't think I'm in within draft range. side by side this should give me a chance to catch up a little bit top 10 that's good to hear Ben slowing us down. That was weird, his car kind of like snapped. I thought I was gonna have nowhere to go. This makes me nervous though. <laughs> I have a small rear view mirror, usually you have the big virtual mirror. When I wish I had crew chief, you'd tell me uh, how far back they are and stuff. I used to have crew chief, I just hated how many updates there were every time I opened it up. It was update, update, update. I just like got tired of it. Oh, 
I'm so sorry about that, Tony. I lost my breaking point when you were on my right and I ran wild. I do apologize for that. I'm sorry to think about that. Another car we kind of had to avoid. That's four now. <laughs> oh, it's too bad. Like, I wish it was just good racing. Oh, I didn't downshift into two. Shit. That's the thing in these races, like, you make one mistake, you lose so many positions. spun behind. Oh my god. I thought that would have been gone by now. Like, I'm almost at 2.5k I rating. Looks like just finishing races is good enough to gain I rating. It's getting, like, super competitive around this end of the last season. Or maybe it's just a middle of the pack thing. Like, the reason we're in the middle of the pack is because we always spin... So weird though. No idea how much time is left. I don't know how many laps I've done. Let's see if we can catch this guy in front. I swear I need a, an actual race engineer if you could tell me all the information I want. Fully immersed. Now it feels like I'm catching this guy, but I'm not quite sure. I wonder on the um, dash there if that's last lap or best lap. It's probably last lap. I gained four tenths. Corner feels weird in the air. Feels like I'm like losing the back end, but on a normal screen, I'm pretty sure I'm just flat out the whole way. And I'm fine. Might be just turning the wheel too much on VR. We're definitely catching this guy though. Like I think I'm within draft range. I guess we'll see. Not quite. You could tell because we're losing time. We could have had a poor exit too, but I think that was just not within draft range. Gas. I think I can catch this guy. Might run out of time, but oh, that didn't turn out well. Turn this into a race.
Yeah, it just feels like the back end's going, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Perspective thing. Now we're well within draft range. Just look at that uh, plus or minus there. So it seems like a sprint race. You might have to um, go with the six there, but I think an endurance race, you just let go of the gas once you start bottoming out on fifth gear. Save a bit of fuel. It's so satisfying to get right. I thought I was gonna do it there, but kind of snapped, oversteered there. It's gotta be white flag soon. Gonna run out of time to pass this guy. Not even, you know, didn't really get to study him, see where he's slow. All I hope is that I gain some safety rating and some high rating. Yeah, you make sure you got a real good exit there. exit there. Let's see if there's any last minute battles that take people out. I think that's the only way I'm going to really gain positions here. More people taking themselves out. No white flag yet. I called it quits too early. Ooh. I was uh, cutting it close. Lost five tenths on this lap. Jeez, that was a terrible lap. thinking about it too much. Just relax the arms. That looks like there's a battle in front. white flag. wonder if that guy got to slow down. Probably what happened.
looks like everybody's kind of found their spot, though. Size little gap between everybody, looks like. Nobody's really battling. That's the thing, when so many people spin out right off the bat, like, it becomes so hard to catch up to people. I mean, if I was just running consistent laps, I'm sure I'd be fighting with this yellow guy, but, you know, lose this half a second here, just avoiding people. Creates a bigger gap between you and the leaders. Although I shouldn't complain, I didn't get caught up in any of it. So, at least I got to finish my race. Feel pressure low, I can't even read that. Yeah, it's a little sneak peek for the endurance race. I'm hoping to finally get a podium or something. I mean, depends what split we're in. We've been in the top split pretty frequently lately, and it's, it's very challenging. There's some very good racers <laughs> in those races. The only time we really have a chance is if they all crash. But yeah, that was a fun race. Thanks for watching, and... Uh, we have a little, a little bit of a surprise for you guys. I mean, this video might not come out before then, but a little bit of a surprise for you guys for uh, every Tuesday or Wednesday. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, and have a good one. I think we finished in ninth, but I'll post the results uh, in the end screen there. Okay. Bye.